Hi, I'm Keith and I'm here with our project team, Luke, Nancy, Larry, and Eric. And we're in the new pub. As you know, <clears throat> this last Monday we had the grand reveal. It was quite an event. And Nancy's going to talk a little bit about that. We did have a grand reveal. If you weren't here, I hope you'll take the opportunity to stop by and look at what has been created for all of you. We had almost a thousand people come by to look. Everyone through the door had a comment of, wow, we really did wow our membership with what has been accomplished. We look forward to many, many more grand reveals and attendance in the dining room, the pub, the pavilion. We're just so anxious to get everything up and running. Thank you, Nancy. Well, we still have some final work to do. The project's not 100% completed, but we're very close. And Larry's going to talk a little bit about that. And functionally, the clubhouse is almost 100% done. The only items that are left are punch list items that are items that don't affect the functionality of the club and the operations. The uh, sunscreens on the pavilion are being installed today, so that's the last large item that uh, has, is left to go and everything else will be done in the early morning hours so it doesn't affect the operations of the club and the membership won't be interrupted by that. The one large item that is still left to go is the bag drop pavilion uh, for the golf course and that is uh, in Permidian. Right now we would hope to get it out, out of Permidian through the village of Sterile any day now and we can break ground on that pavilion the bag drop uh, share and have it completed hopefully toward the end of this year. Thank you, Larry. Well, we're getting a lot of questions as when the various venues are going to be open, and I ask uh, if Eric will go through that for us. All right, so starting uh, tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, we will have the pub open for lunch. On Monday, we will have the uh, pub open again for lunch, and also we will have a uh, game night on Monday. Tuesday, all operations will be open, so both the uh, pavilion and pub will be open for lunch, so you'll be able to utilize that. We also will have our first dinner in the pavilion on Tuesday with soothing sound, so come sit, come by. Thanks, Eric. Well, when we started out in this project, we had some very specific objectives that we wanted to achieve. We're just going to talk about them. Thank you, Keith. Our goal is to continuously improve the experience for all the members here in the community. And our dream, our collective dream, is that we can be the best model community in Southwest Florida. And I think we got a lot, lot closer. This week was a big step forward, a big milestone. Um, and in the past, we identified kind of the bottleneck, the limitations of what the old clubhouse had to offer. And we identified that the concept of a dual kitchen would increase tremendously the amount of patients we could serve, the amount of variety we could bring to the members, uh, and really create a tool for Eric and the team uh, to increase significantly the food and beverage experience here in, in the community. And while we do that, uh, at the same time, we took the opportunity actually to lift the whole character and the personality of this clubhouse in line with what the members were asking for, in line with what we see in other communities and what the market is, where the market is going. And we promised you lighter and brighter and definitely this place, as you all have seen, is uh, a ton more contemporary, yet classy and elegant because that's the kind of overall feel and experience that we wanted to create. And I hope you share that feeling with us. We hope you make it your home, our home, home for the community. Um, another great place to be and join uh, together. Thank you, Luke. Well, I want to thank the team. It's been a team effort. And uh, we get, uh, I get a lot of compliments on, on what we've done, but it was the team. And it's been a joy to work with these folks. And uh, what's left is a few things. I hope, I hope by the end of the year, we'll have this wrapped up. Thank you.